With Valentine's Day tomorrow, a warning for you. Dr. Wendy King of Spirits Creek Veterinary Clinic says sugar-free chocolate can be toxic in your pets. What? Yes, because they can. In fact, you've shown there's bad, worse, and even worse. And dogs would love to get in this because dogs have a sweet tooth, right? Correct. All right, Correct. so go through the table. What do we need to keep away from our pets? All right, so it started out with the uh, not so bad is the milk chocolate and the sweets, like um, the sugary sweets. Yeah. These are, are not as toxic as you think they are to dogs. Now, I don't want you to go give them. Right. But then you have um, a dark chocolate bar that has 88% cocoa. Yeah. Um, I looked up the lethal dose. It's not a lethal dose for the dogs, but they'll start showing toxicity at 20 pounds. So a dog a 20 pound dog eats this it starts getting vomiting diarrhea mm -hmm. toxic and then oh, we have sugar free which normally we think sugar free is something better correct you're saying this is the worst thing that this a dog is the worst so one piece of this could actually kill a dog because it has malitol which is a sugar alcohol and also a lot of your um, sugar free gums. gums have sugar alcohols in them so what this does is when the pet eats it they think they their body thinks that they've eaten a sugary meal and so the body doesn't make internal sugar in that case. And so they get hypoglycemic, meaning low blood sugar. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is they go into a diabetic coma. Mm -hmm. And it can kill one stick of this gum can kill a, a Yorkie. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now this is what you mm -hmm. were educating me on earlier. This mm -hmm. blows my mind because I use peanut butter like when I want to give them their glucosamine or something. Right. So a lot of, a lot of clients do that. So they now make sugar-free peanut butter and it has the sugar alcohol in it. So you have to make sure if you're giving your pets medication in peanut butter that it's not the sugar-free variety okay. with that sugar alcohol in it. But otherwise, I actually, I really like peanut butter as a treat for your pets okay. and it's real good Just at hiding sure medication. sure it's not sugar-free. And what is the ingredient again that's sugar-free? It's um, xylitol or okay. mannitol or sorbitol. And, and we're looking at that chocolate cake just now. A lot of ing uh, recipes under the guise of being healthier have those sugar-free Correct. And those Correct. are things we need to keep away from keep our pets. Keep away from the pets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you, we've shown the things that are detrimental to them, but <laughs> if you wanted your pet to have a little fun treat for Valentine's, I know some do that, take a look at these things Wendy has. All right. So, I went through the aisles to try to come up with something that you could feed your pets. Now, here's old standby, the uh, sweethearts. Uh, it's almost all sugar. So, if sugar's not great for us. It's not great for our pets, but it's uh. not going to kill them. Um, same thing with these dots, these gumdrops. They were, um, it's mostly sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, peeps, they're a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> and if then your dogs you, will you eat know them. some patients of your or some clients of yours where they give their dog the medication through a marshmallow. In a marshmallow. If they have food allergies, marshmallows are great for hiding pills in for okay. uh, those dogs with food allergies. Okay. I wanted to point this one out. This is white chocolate covered pretzels. Now remember, white chocolate really doesn't have any chocolate in it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have that ingredient, that theobromine, that is super toxic to dogs. So mm -hmm. they can have that on occasion. I'm not saying all the time. Valentine's right. comes once a year, maybe right. once a year. Maybe once a year do this. Okay. But then I also brought out some just yeah. some some plush toys. You know, give your pet uh -huh. a toy, give them a pat on the head, take a nice long walk with them, tell them how much you love them. That means mm -hmm. more, yes. And mm -hmm. quickly, while we're wrapping up here, explain to our viewers why when we look at all this, this applies to dogs and not so much to cats. Cats are carnivores and they do not have a sweet tooth. They do not have the taste buds to taste sweets. So none of this is attractive to them. Okay. All right, thank you so much. As always, great advice for our viewers and pets. We'll be right back. Stay with us.